Now, uh, before I uh, introduce you to Terraform, I want to talk a little bit about uh, infrastructure as code. Okay, so this concept is very much important uh, before we start with Terraform. So, infrastructure as code is the process of managing and provisioning infrastructure through code. Okay, so before we dig uh, deep into this definition, let me take uh, take you through an example uh, to make you understand this concept. Okay, so let's imagine we are uh, hosting an web application on Amazon EC2. Okay, so uh, I'm just showing uh, so your application is hosted on EC2 and like users will be able to access this application through internet. Okay, so uh, let's see what are the resources that you would need in AWS to uh, run your web application on EC2. Okay, so firstly, you would need an EC2 instance. And second, you would need a security group to define the rules like who is allowed to uh, get into your instance and what traffic is allowed in and out of your instance. Okay. And uh, third is you would need a VPC uh, in which you will create your EC2 instance. Okay, so these are the resources, minimum uh, resources that you would need to run uh, a simple web application on Amazon EC2. Okay, so now uh, how would you create this uh, resources? Okay, so you can create these resources like any, any number of ways. You can uh, create it using a console or you can create it using uh, like uh, about three APIs, cloud formation and many other ways. Okay. So uh, let's imagine you are creating uh, it manually, okay? So, but your application uh, needs to be de deployed into different uh, environments, okay? So you will create this in dev, okay? But you will need to create the same set of resources again in UAT or uh, testing environment. And again, uh, once your application is tested, you would need to create the same set of resources in prod, okay? So uh, you would need to do this uh, like in all the environments. Um, there is like a few challenges associated with this like uh, how do you maintain the consistency across all the uh, environments um, meaning uh, you will create the uh, same uh, type of instance and you define the same security group rules and all the stuff okay and uh, why how do you avoid the redundancy of doing this again and again in uh, different environments okay what if there was a way uh, like you would write a piece of code uh, which you would run in all the environments okay so you define uh, let's uh, i mean uh, ignore the syntaxes and uh, the technicalities of the code for now let's imagine that like you define these resources in some code and this can this code can be run in all the environments like dev uat and prod uh, to create the same set of resources with similar configurations now if you wanted to do any update uh, to basically uh, let's uh, think about the ec2 and see if you want to in increase the size of your ec2 instance you would just need to update this code and uh, run it this run this code uh, in all the environments and it would update the ec2 instance uh, to the same uh, like class in all the environments like any other configuration change right you just need to update this code and run it across uh, environments so uh, there are a lot of other advantages as well it uh, like it is uh, i mean it is better to manage it is good for uh, maintaining consistency and lot of other advantages as well so this is the concept of infrastructure as code. You define your infrastructure or resources uh, in a piece of code. Uh, it can be like anything, okay? There are a lot of uh, tools available, uh, which uh, infrastructure as code uh, tool, uh, tools available. So you can define your uh, code or configuration in that uh, tool, and then you can run it across your environments to create your resources. So this is the concept of infrastructure as code, okay? So uh, let's take a look at a few infrastructure as code tools that are available. Uh, there is Ansible, Puppet, Chef, and AWS as its own uh, tool, which is CloudFormation. You can uh, define your resources in a uh, YAML format and uh, run it in CloudFormation. It will create the resources. And then there is uh, Terraform, okay? So uh, these many, uh, there are a lot of other infrastructure as code tools as well, okay? Um, so now that you have understood, like, I mean, uh, what is infrastructure as code let's uh, see some like uh, salient features of infrastructure as code like okay so it helps us manage infrastructure using code okay so you define some you write some code and you manage your resources using this piece of code and it automates the process of provisioning and configuring infrastructure so all these manual steps of like updating your infrastructure and creating it provisioning it uh, is avoided using infrastructure as code okay it automates the process and it ensures the consistency and repeatability across environments. So uh, this point we already discussed in the previous uh, slide. Okay, so now uh, when there are so many tools that are available, infrastructure as code tools available, why Terraform? Okay, 
so why should we pick uh, because we are running our web application in uh, aws right so why not use cloud formation why use terraform okay so let's see some uh, important features of terraform which uh, make it stand out uh, when compared to other uh, infrastructure as code tools okay so terraform is provider agnostic and multi cloud support okay so if your application has uh, some resources which need to be created in aws i mean uh, azure or like any other like i mean uh, on premise or whatever right so you can define all the resources in terraform suppose you are using a uh, cloud formation you cannot define uh, your like local on premise resources using cloud formation right so uh, terraform is uh, provider agnostic and multi cloud support so uh, it provides like almost all the servers like i mean all the provider it supports all the providers like google cloud azure and uh, what not right and it has a very uh, declarative and intuitive uh, language uh, which is ashikop configuration language or terraform language okay so uh, which is very easy to write and maintain okay so we'll discuss more about this language uh, later and uh, the other thing is a uh, state management so terraform the maintains the state of your resources so if you deploy your resources now and someone manually updates uh, like the resource in aws whatever in console right terraform uh, uh, like it will maintain the current state of your resources and next time when you uh, it identifies a drift in resources okay so we will talk more about this uh, feature later but this is also very important feature of terraform which is state manager management which it maintains the current state of your resources okay and uh, it allows for a modular design so you can write uh, reusable modules uh, you can think of modules uh, like uh, uh, let's say classes uh, in coding so you can uh, define modules and then reuse those modules across your code to create uh, you know set of resources okay and uh, terraform is open source and it has a very uh, large active user community so you can uh, like get help uh, if you are stuck somewhere uh, when using terraform okay so uh, these are the major uh, features of terraform which make it stand out uh, when compared to other uh, infrastructure as code uh, tools okay so uh, now let's see how terraform works in a nutshell okay so this is a very basic flow of how terraform works okay so you will have your uh, resources defined uh, using code okay so you will create like this code or configuration files uh, okay then what terraform does is uh, it takes these files it interacts with the provider okay the, the provider can be aws azure google cloud or any other uh, kubernetes or your on premise uh, resources as well right so it interacts with the provider using the provider apis okay if it is using uh, if you are creating aws resources it interacts with aws using uh, aws apis and creates these resources for you okay so it figure as the like the beautiful uh, thing about terraform is it will uh, you don't need to think about how the resources are created it is a declarative language okay you just declare what you need the resources that you need the state of resources that you need and terraform the backend will interact with the provider using uh, provider apis to create those resources for you how it is done is up to terraform and it will take care of it if there are any dependencies between the resources that you are creating that will also be taken care uh, by terraform okay so uh, this is how a simple flow of terraform uh, works